Hey YouTube, it is I, Random Ross, and welcome to a random review from me. So, today I am reviewing the film Hush, starring Kate, uh, Kate Siegel and John Gallagher Jr., written and directed by Mike Flanagan, and co-written by Kate Siegel. So, the film um, follows a deaf mute woman who's a writer who lives in the middle of nowhere to get away from reality and just focus on writing her book. Um, and the only way she can communicate is through Makaton, uh, that sign language, that's what we call like sign language in the UK, in England and that. Um, so yes, she plays um, a, a, bl a deaf mute woman called um, Maddie who is just, you know, minding her own business, cooking up some dinner, and then one of her friends pops by, um, they they have a bit of a chat, fire alarm goes off with the light flashing because she's deaf, it's something needs, she needs to see, um, and stuff. Anyway, um, as the evening goes on, we discover that there's a stalker. Now this is a home invasion film, all right. So it's like your next and um, what else? Um, Mother's Day uh, and stuff. Home invasion film. So um, what happens is um, Maddie is stalked for a bit by a deranged killer with a crossbow and knife. Um, the killer wears a white mask. And now I think they ruined the mystery by revealing his face too soon. It was just, you know, I think in... Oh, damn, they ruined the mystery revealing it too soon. Um, this film is about, it's a short, well, it's not long. It's about 80 minutes long. Uh, and it's streamed on Netflix uh, a few days ago, I think. Um, yeah, Netflix. Um, worldwide. Uh because a few YouTubers that I know on here, uh, The Buff and Beyond and Spooky Astronauts, they've seen it. Uh, she, uh, Emma, Spooky Astronaut, she says that Australian Netflix don't show uh, much horror films on their Netflix. I have a whole horror section on my Netflix in England. So, I don't know what's with Australia, but, you know. It's a shame, really, if you're a big horror fan and you're Australian. Anyway, back to the review. Um, so, um, yeah, but she doesn't know at first that he's there stalking her. He's like tapping on the windows, he's walking in, making noises behind her, but she can't hear him. She can lip read. Anyway, she's then he then gets her attention and then she's fighting for survival, trying to, you know, fight her way through um she can't communicate with anyone because of you know she can't phone someone for help and that because the killer he sneaks in takes her phone cuts off the power so she's just on her own and he kills you know her friends i don't want to give too much away about it all but yeah it's like thinking you you're rooting for her for the entire film now the actress kate siegel i know she isn't deaf really because she talks in her head her character speaks in her head and has a voice that speaks and then there's like these whole visions of like what if i do this will that happen if i do that that's going to happen you know but it's it's really good it's a it's a suspenseful film it just had like 15 minutes of, of dialogue um but yeah she uh, but it's just all like i said a suspense builds in it and stuff and you're really rooting for her to get out of this and overpower the nutter that's trying to kill her. Um, what is the killer's motive? We don't really know why he's stalking her, why he wants to kill her and that. Uh, but I can tell you that they confirmed a prequel for this film. I looked it up. They've confirmed a prequel which will reveal the killer's backstory, uh, who he is and everything and why he kills and that. 
And that's going to be um, John Gallagher Jr. reprising that role in the Hush prequel. I don't know what it's going to be called yet. It might be called Hush 2 or Hush the Beginning or something. It might be something completely different, uh, title completely different. But they are doing a backstory on the killer that will be out next year. Probably stream on Netflix. Uh, so, Hush. Um, was it a good film? Yeah, I thought it was good. It was a little slow starting, a little bit boring. I almost wanted to turn it off, but I'm so glad I stayed tuned and watched it because it did get better and I liked it. So, hush, I am going to give this film a... Hmm, let's see. I'm going to give it a... Do you know what? I'm going to give it a... You know, a 7.5 out of 10 because it wasn't that bad. 7.5 out of 10. So, have you seen Hush? What's your thoughts? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more from me. And also, link down below in the description are links to my Facebook, my Twitter, so you can stay up to date on my channel and what I get up to outside of YouTube. So, yeah. Is there anything else I need to say? Mm, I don't think so. So, till next time. Goodbye, friends. See, when I do that, that means goodbye, Macton. Bye-bye. Goodbye or something. Anyway, yep. See ya.